Hey, yo, what's up, guys? If you don't know who I am, I am Danielle Piri, and this is my beautiful wife, Kangi Piri, and, and welcome, welcome to, to our, our love story, story on the Piri, Piri Master Show. Show. You guys, we are so excited about our second episode of Bedroom Chronicles. Yay! <laughs> the craziest thing happened in the back room this week. Guys. <laughs> yeah. You know witchcraft. Witchcraft in its rawest form. The witchcraft you can't even explain. The craft that was crafted by a witch. Oh. <laughs> oh, so, he was hey. never gonna leave the story out. Even if I... Guys, so me and my wife were watching TV, right? <laughs> now imagine the scenario. Me and my wife were watching TV and we have like a heater in front of us and we're watching uh, Netflix. There's a show we're watching on Netflix and all of a sudden, Nothing moved. The TV just fell. Wait, just so. like that. Just Went like, like that. this. <laughs> By the time I'm trying to stand up, remember I stood up. Yeah. You, you have to give me the credit. I for gave that. him credit. He did try standing up. I saw it falling. And, and then I she was, know, shocked. I was like, She was like stuck. <laughs> and I was like, no way, bro. I tried standing up. The heat was in front of me. Do some James Bond vibes. I don't know so what happened, babe. And then the TV just fell, <laughs> bro. I'm busy thinking, ah, oh, the TV is fine. <laughs> I think you noticed your energy just cracked, man. Yeah, I saw it on the floor. It's like but it didn't, landed on she something. didn't say nothing. <laughs> so, me, I'm thinking, ah, oh, let me just put this <laughs> back. When I turned it like this, I just saw, yo, this thing is gone. <laughs> yo. Shame, and it was sentimental for Daniel because he brought it into our marriage. <laughs> yes, I bought this TV the first time I started working, guys. So, Shame. it was like, it meant so Shame. much for me, you know. But you were excited that it was opened up for other yeah, opportunities. Yeah, but when it, when it broke, I remember the Holy Spirit that was passing when Moses <laughs> was painting on the doorpost. I said, hey, the Holy Spirit has destroyed this creature that has been in this house, hindering me from the 82-inch TV. <laughs> <laughs> just Which is not show. happening anytime soon. <laughs> baby, you can't say that, baby. No, guys, it's happening. No, it's not. Baby, come we on. We have other priorities. Yes, we have other priorities, but in this, <laughs> I'm gonna have to, I'm gonna, I'm gonna con it, guys. I'm gonna tell you guys, I conned her. And we have an 82 inch TV in our house. Yeah, so guys, yeah. back to our story. You guys have probably read it there. You know, the topic is true. Can you force me into engagement? No. no. Baby, you forced me. <laughs> no, she forced me. I'm no. telling you. Why you say no? I didn't force you. You forced me. I didn't force you. Let me you, tell you did a choice out of your own let me tell volition. You guys, let me tell you guys a story quick. So it was Kanye's birthday. I got her this beautiful dress. And I was conning her, you know, throughout. Uh, I'm going to show some of the stuff, you know, that that of that day because I captured it. Were, her family planned this whole thing for 21st. And me and Kanye were like there. You know, I'm, I'm like, gonna leave him to tell the story, then I'll tell my I'm life. gonna, I'm gonna call, I, I call, I call the day, hey, we're going to Monte Casino, then we're going to Melrose Arch, remember that? Mm, I do remember. And I was forgetting where we're going because, uh, like, Kanye's family planned that whole 21st war. So, I, I had to convince her that I was taking her out on that day. So, we got there, and we had an awesome day. It was an, it was an amazing birthday. She turned 25, I was proud of her. And after that, we parted ways. Family members went there, and I was with Kanye. You know, we went to Seattle Coffee. We bought some coffee. I was busy doing the dance moves. <laughs> you know, I'm enjoying now. It's time for us to part ways. They, I see someone is serious. What's going on? <laughs> someone is serious, guys. I'm like, hey, did I do something wrong today, or? <laughs> she says, why don't you engage me? So, <laughs> my man, you don't just come up, wake up today. Today I'm getting engaged. You don't. Oh my goodness. You don't just wake up with that, that, that thing saying, "Hey, today I'm getting engaged." It doesn't work like that. But Kanye, to her, she's like, "Hey, why didn't you engage me?" I'm gonna let you speak, and then when it's and my then, time, I'll, I'll like, explain oh, bro, why. Uh, no, there's no because way. You've got selective memory. You know. <laughs> Just like this. 
Baby, don't lie. He's got selective no. memory. And I'm going to let you actually speak. Speak and say what you need to say. Get it out of your chest. And then I'm going to explain my side of the story and why what I said was relevant. So, but you did say, you did say, why don't you engage me? I, uh, yes, and so I, everything, I did so say So everything that. I said was correct, is it's correct. It's true. Okay, it's yes, let me continue. <laughs> so now, oh, guys, I let their head it all. I see someone starting to cry. <laughs> How? No, I'm crying. <laughs> You didn't engage me. Ah, what, what, what? Why didn't you? It was really important to me. I really thought you were going to engage me today. Ah, what's happening here, bro? So I became angry. I'm like, hey, because me and Kanye were supposed to get married that year. End of 2019. 2020. We got married in 2020, baby. Yeah, 2019. We were supposed 2019. to get married end of 2019. And after that whole thing, that drama is like, hey, this one is dangerous, this one, hey, you have to cut this. I told you, hey, bro, from now on, no more engagement, I don't want to talk about the wedding, nothing, bro. I don't want to talk about nothing. Because that thing scared me, bro. I said, like, hey, this woman can just be there, like, you want day at night. You promised me lunch. Like, Look, now you're sleeping, I have the night. Here, <laughs> Okay, let me, let me tell my side of the story and you understand why I thought he was going to engage me that day. So what happened was, ne? Daniel and I, we met in December 2018. We, we didn't meet then, but we, we started talking, you know, uh, then. So we've known each other, maybe seen each other walking past each other at church yeah. and stuff like that. And then officially, we started to chat towards the end of 2018, around November or so. And um, after that, when we met in December, you know, we proper met, had a date in December. So now we have this date and we're like, you know, I'm like, goodness, you know, we are really vibing. Like, you know, this, this thing is working. You know, we both I have agree. the same goals. We have the same beliefs. You know, like it was the fire, a flame. Yeah, it's a flame. And Daniel in his excitement, ne? He starts talking about marriage. Mm. So mm. I'm like, hey, who no shot la? Who no shot to guys? Never, uh, uh, uh. I'm like, hey, I'm getting married, guys. I'm getting married. You I like, never thought. <laughs> I remember this someone was on the street. <laughs> I'm like, hey, who no shot to guys? I'm getting married. You know, this is good. So there I am you in saw excitement. Someone, you saw a guy was taking you off the street. So it's and, right. and mind you, Daniel and I were different. I'm an accountant, ne? So when somebody tells me something, I hold them to it. I'm uh, like, okay, uh, uh, you tell me something. So me, I will hold you to it. No, you say things in excitement. Ah, uh, 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 what you making me the world? No, wait, he says things in excitement because he's feeling it, you know, he's feeling it in his spirit. Good to ya, ya zin man. You know, I'm in love and ya zin man, it's just good in this place. Whereas me, you tell me something and I'm like, okay. So you tell me you want to buy me the moon. Uh, give me a plan. How are you going to buy the moon? How are you going to save enough money to buy the moon for me to give me? Because you love me so much, you know? So Daniel says to me, and this is early in our relationship. Uh, he says to me, he says to me, baby, we're going I, to get married. Wait, you admitted, you admitted, you said we're going to get married at the end of 2019, year, yeah. 2018, right? 2019. 2019, yes. So he says to me, yeah, we're going to get married December 2019. So I'm like, hey guys, if someone is going to marry me December 2019, right now we are in December 2018. And how are we going to plan for this whole wedding to happen, right? Because there's many things that need to happen. I guess. So he tells me, now it's, it's the beginning now of 2019. So obviously in my mind, I'm thinking in this period, this one year, what needs to happen? Is that he needs to formally engage me, right? Huh? Me, I don't yes. believe in engagement. I told you. Yes. I don't oh, like engagement. Baby, but let me tell ah, my story. Let me tell my story. Let me let me defend myself. I'm thinking at this point in time, he needs to formally engage me. We have to do amalobolo. And then in that process, we need to think about how we're going to save and everything. I so, know your ladies are going to agree with that, but I don't believe in engagement. I'm not, and this, this is going to explain why. I don't believe this secret night. Why I don't believe in that engagement she wanted. So fine, so fine, right? 
So I'm like, okay. And then what happened was, he doesn't mention that that birthday, it was my 21st birthday. I it did was, mention. It was a surprise party. So I didn't know that it was a surprise party. It was going to be a big thing. So he just told me that we are going out on a date. So I'm thinking, wow, you know, my birthday is in May. At least if he engages me in May. At least. I didn't tell you I was engaging in May. That, no, listen. I, I'm thinking if he engages me in May. At least we have time from May until December to plan for this wedding to make things happen. Hi, no, next thing I check, and then this is what also made it worse. So Daniel, on, on my birthday, he buys me a gift, and in the gift, I open it, you know, so I'm expecting an engagement, but when I get to my birthday party, it's like a big party with many people, and it's fancy, and I'm like, and thank you to my sister for planning this, and him for planning this, and my no, family. No, your sister, your boozy planned it. Yeah, my sister planned it. My if you want a wedding planner, guys, here's the number yes. below. An oh. event planner. She's an amazing event planner. Amazing. She planned our wedding. She planned that party. It was to do. It was like, you know, five star. So I'm thinking, gosh, guys, this thing is to do. You can just kill two birds with one stone birthday engagement. You yeah. In your head. In her head. <laughs> That's in, in your head. head. That's what I'm saying, but guys. If you, you understand guys, my ah, logic, even my in logic. court, even in court, this one they can see that I just died. <laughs> I didn't say I'm gonna engage you that day. But it's, it's logical that if you're going to engage someone within a year, at some point you have. So why did you choose your birthday? I mean, because it made sense. Because it gave enough time for everything to happen within that year. You understand? And then what made it worse was now, okay, in my mind, subconsciously, I was already thinking an engagement is happening today, guys. Yeah. I'm getting engaged. On your own. Whether I was on my own or not, the point <laughs> is that was the what was happening. That's what I've been trying to say. Then he gives me a gift. I literally forgot the present in the house. <laughs> I came from running there now, and here it is. And when I open the gift, I see in that he bought one of those sets that you get where it comes with a necklace, an earring, and a ring. I didn't know there was a ring there. I don't know how you bought something without knowing that no, the ring. No, it's because I didn't know it was a ring. I honestly didn't know. So I'm thinking to myself, it was what, like, why was things going on It was like a lot mind? of things in there. And I didn't know there was a ring. Guys, when you get a present, please open, check if there's no <laughs> ring. I so I'm thinking that. to myself, what was going on in your mind when now, you there bought buys that? You see, they had a ring. Yeah, but I buy that. But you could see that it was an engagement ring. That, that was different. So anyway, um, he buys me this ring, this thing, and I'm looking at it, and I'm like, I mean, I was expecting an engagement. Why on earth would you buy me a ring? And then, on top of that, you're not engaging. So what am I supposed to do with this ring? And when I wear this ring in front of people, what are they going to say? I didn't say wear it. Man, I told you don't wear it. I said, I told you give me so the ring. He, the only reason he said give me the ring was after I asked him, what were you thinking when you bought me this gift? I didn't then know there was okay, a ring. Okay, just guys. give me the ring. Just I swear, me. I didn't know there was a ring. Ray. Honestly, you saw there was a lot of, there was a lot of. Uh, it looked the same. It was a set, so I didn't know there's a ring. Ray. I saw earrings. I, I saw. And it was one of those rings that looked like a proper engagement ring. You I know? don't know. I, I didn't. I didn't know. She noticed the ring. <laughs> There's a ring, yes. Hey, my sister, bring this ring. <laughs> bring this ring fast before we start. After I told you. No. After, the after you showed after me that, hey, you know, you're missing the ring. I said, hey, my sister, please. please. <laughs> so avoid confusing me in this house. <laughs> so that's why I thought that we were going to get engaged to that day. And I feel like I was justified in why. Because sometimes people Okay, say guys, can you know, maybe, think... uh, maybe we and I are a bit wrong. Guys, can you please tell us in the comments below if Kanye had a, a real reason to justify why? We were supposed to get engaged that day. I believe it. I mean, if you tell someone you're going to engage them, you're going to marry them in a year. Somewhere along the line, there needs to be yeah, an engagement. Yeah, but also, I remember, you should also consider this, the Jerry, you guys are the Jerry. Jerry, please consider this also. I told her I don't like engagements. No, but you were saying it in passing, obviously. But and I told I'm, I'm, I don't obviously, like engagements. Every girl wants to be engaged. There's no yes, girl. That's, that's why I eventually engaged you, because I was forced. No. That's where I, this title comes from, that I'm forced to engage you. But I did love the way it played out, by the way. So what actually happened eventually is after that fight, 
Because it was a massive fight. I was we like, put engagement. Not off really. The I I said no more in this house. No way. <laughs> you can. <laughs> this woman's in a bed with hot oil at night. <laughs> We put engagement off the table, guys, and we were like, okay, fine. Obviously, we're not ready. Um, I think just in terms of planning and everything, we were just not ready. It was just like, okay, a year is just Too an short. unrealistic goal. Yeah. So then I just stopped thinking about engagement yes. completely. Like, I think I was just thinking about many things, but we were talking about marriage. Yeah. Um, I think the only time when I was like, okay, fine, because now we were planning the wedding. I get it, he doesn't believe in, in engagement. And you were fighting me for it. Remember? Yes, because I was like, I can't plan a wedding. I can't go to a wedding planner and say, listen, me, I'm getting married. They look at my hands. There's no engagement. What are they going to yeah, think? Which, which I understood. I understood. But I also wanted to, to, to because I understood that it really hurt her that time, guys. You know, I'm, I'm not, I'm not, maybe I'm a barry, but not that much of a barry, <laughs> you know. I understood that it really hurt her and, and wanted to make it up to her. So I didn't engage her until the next year. Yeah. Of, of on her birthday. So on her birthday, it was just me and her, and I got the opportunity to, to engage her, and she said yes. Yeah. And that made me happy. And I feel like for the time I buy at that time, I think I made it up to you. Don't you think? So? You engaged me with the same ring that I gave you the previous year. Yeah, she's lying. <laughs> She's lying. I don't know what she's talking about. She's, she's, I don't know what she's talking about. You see, this is, a, this is those politics that she trying to fight. So the I got. You use the same ring. No, baby. No. But no, I guys. loved it. I. It was special. We, it was during lockdown, and. Um, let me let me okay, explain. explain. So what this is? You see, don't even let me explain what happened. Uh, so, no. So Come during on. lockdown, right? Her birthday was just before the thing, and. I didn't get the time to go get a, a, a engagement ring. Mm-hmm. So I remember there's a ring I had that she wanted, that she was fighting for the last time. Let me use this ring so that uh, I can engage her on the day that she likes she liked to be engaged. On. And it was my birthday. It was her birthday. Level five. Level five lockdown. lockdown and I engaged her and she said yes. And it was the most special thing. I think the best part was that I, this time I actually didn't expect it. Yeah, because um, I kept saying that not getting, I kept saying that to her that we're not getting engaged so that she could like push it down. Yeah, and I then when she did really way. push it down, and I surprised it came as a surprise, and I think it was a very special moment. Mm-hmm. But on top of that, guys, for the for for the Lobola, I had to re-engage Kanye, and I had to get Kanye a second ring. And that time it was Lobola and a second ring. Yeah. Now, because I had to re-engage her, which is me, I'm an African man. Formally. That's the real engagement I wanted. To be in front of people and say, here, yeah, I need to go during the wall and let me engage. So then I went to get Kanye a, another ring, which is a ring that I think she really loved. Yeah. Eventually. So when so when we met the, the family, then uh, we did the Lawala thing and I went down on my knee and then I then engaged the formal in front of our, our parents and stuff and yeah that was the second ring now this is why this is linked to back room chronicles mm-hmm. now for us now before we could now we were getting everything ready and whatnot Lobola we just paid the Lobola stuff and then we have to uh, book a venue and we have to pay all the venue things mm-hmm. And now there wasn't just enough cash to get Kanye another ring. So we were oh, like getting married. A wedding ring. Yeah. So we we're like, you know what we can do? Um, we can use this ring that we use to get engaged as your wedding ring. So that when we when you do get married, when we do get married, then we're gonna save save up some cash to get you your dream ring. And today, as I come here. Daniel Pierre have come to announce to you guys that I finally got my wedding got ring. Her. <laughs> the, the wedding ring. Yeah, and it's beautiful. It's perfect. Um, yeah, it's, uh, it's everything that I wanted in a wedding ring. Um, I'm so glad that I waited for it, um, and we we planned for it. Yeah. 
Um, because we couldn't, we couldn't also buy it at once. Yeah. So to also compensate that, what we're doing is we're just every month we're putting, we're going to pay for the for the ring until uh, I think three months after. Yeah. We then uh, paid off the full balance. You know. Yeah. So we just want to say that sometimes you want something and maybe you don't have the finances to do it at once. There's other ways. Find other creative ways. Yeah. You can you can get your woman or you can achieve what you want to achieve. And the best things in life are worth waiting for. Mm -hmm. So um, yeah, that was our engagement story. Um, hope it was fun to listen to. And yeah. Yeah. And that is why I was forced to get engaged. <laughs> Explanation. He was not forced to get engaged. It was just the right thing to do. All right. Thank you guys. If you liked this video, please subscribe, hit that notification bell, and please comment. Tell us, yeah. you guys can be the chair. Tell us who is the wrong or right here. Yeah. You know, I can't be a sole loser continuously. <laughs> Have mercy on me, judge and jury. I'll give you this one. Because. You did. So eventually, she... <laughs> you. you did. You did engage me, even if you didn't really want to or believe in it. Yeah. <laughs> All right. Thank you guys for watching. See you next time. Peace. Hey, are you subscribed to my channel? If you're not, you should totally subscribe to my channel. And even if you're already subscribed to my channel, you could tell a couple friends to go subscribe to my channel because this video is over now. Over now. I'm amazed that you're still watching this. I don't understand. Looks like you're trying to prove a point but I don't know what that point is Or you think there's gonna be something special At the end, but there's not